everyone, welcome to Room 120 News, your place to find out everything that's going on in our school and in our classroom this week. Um, if you are able to send in community snacks, that would be fantastic. Um, someone sent in a bag of pretzels a couple weeks ago and that was perfect. I was just able to reach in with my um, washed hands and give um, students a handful of pretzels on their way to recess. So anything helps with community snacks that you're willing and able to send in. Um, just a reminder that our cafeteria does sell ice cream on Fridays. If you are interested in your child being able to get ice cream, please send in $1 either on Friday or by Friday so that they can purchase that treat. <clears throat> this Friday is the Friday before the Super Bowl, so our school will be celebrating by wearing your favorite NFL team jersey or favorite NFL team colors. So I know that even I don't have a, um, a team jersey personally, but I definitely can put some colors together. Um, to make my favorite NFL team. So that's this week in our classroom. Um, if you have not signed the report card attestation form from the beginning of the week, please try to get that done at, um, as soon as possible so that I can see that you have um, read the report card. Um, up next is looking ahead where we will find out everything that's going to happen in the future of our school and the future of our classroom. We will be celebrate, celebrating Valentine's Day in our classroom this year. Uh, we will be celebrating two ways. Um, we are going to have a small celebration, um, and we are also exchanging Valentines with our class. So in this week's um, email in Todd Times, you will find a copy of our class list um, that you are welcome to use to fill out Valentines with your child to bring into school. Um, in addition to that, you will also find a link to a sign-up genius um, every year. On uh, Valentine's Day, I do an ice cream Sunday party. So you will see, um, I always provide the ice cream. Um, you will see a sign up for toppings, bowls, and spoons. Um, so if you would please sign up for to bring at least one item for the ice cream Sunday party for Valentine's Day, that would be fantastic. Um, mark your calendar for Monday, February the 20th, as it is a teacher work day. Um, the state has mandated some training for teachers, and that's why there's so many teacher work days this year. And so just go ahead and mark your calendar for that. There will be no school for that teacher work day. Um, I know that I've been saying to keep your eyes and ears open about parent-teacher conference sign-ups, um, and I do still want you to do that, but I'm going to tell you that it's going to be a little bit longer than what I thought. Um, so we're actually going to have a work day on March 27th, um, which is a really long time away, um, but it'll be here before you know it. And so we're going to have conferences that whole day, so I'll be able to offer conferences from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. all throughout the day. And so I thought that that would work better. Um, for your uh, schedules by waiting till that day. Um, so just be on the lookout in the near future for that conference sign up that they're all going to take place on March the 27th. So if you want to go ahead and put that on your calendar and plan accordingly, you may. Also, on March the 2nd, we're super excited to invite you to a new parent event at our school. We're going to be hosting a character parade and student-led conferences. And so these are going to happen at 7.50-ish in the morning. There'll be an official time, an official flyer coming out very soon. Um, but on March 2nd, you'll be invited to come into our classroom first thing in the morning. Your student will get to share their data notebook with you and any other work that they've been working on that they would like to share. And then we'll be having a character parade um, where students will dress up like their favorite book character. Um, again, there will be an official time and an official flyer coming out very soon, but that is going to happen on March 2nd, so you might want to go ahead and mark your calendars for that date. Um, I know that was a lot for looking ahead, but those things will be coming up every week from this point on um, until we get to the, the week that they take place in. So just know that if you missed something, that it will be um, repeated again in the future episodes. Um, up next is Curriculum Corner, where you will hear all of the standards and um activities that will be taught in our classroom this week. In reading, we're going to continue talking about text features, but our focus is going to be moved to main topic and main idea. So students will be reading books and determining what is the main idea that the author wants them to learn from that story. They'll also be able to identify topics within the story and how the, all the topics work together to make the one main idea. 
In math, we're finishing up our study of fractions. Students are doing awesome with fractions. It tends to be a more challenging subject um, and standard, but they are doing amazing with fractions. So we'll be moving away from fractions and into time this week. We have like one or two more fraction lessons that we're going to do. Um, but then it will be on to telling time and telling time with quarter past quarter till. Um, so they'll be able to use their fraction knowledge to help them tell time on, a, on an analog clock. In science, we're continuing our study of life cycles. We have set eight more days to go um, on our eggs and our incubator. So students um, have been working hard on learning at what's happening inside of the egg on that particular day and turning the eggs to simulate um, the the hen turning the eggs um, in the nest. And so if there, if your child has had a turn already, um, you probably got a photo from me. Um, if not, then you um, will be getting one very, very shortly um, because we're still turning the eggs this coming week. So students are so excited. I'm sure you're hearing about it at your homes. And then in foundations, we're starting, um, or continuing, should I say, in unit nine with our controlled vowels. We're talking about the er sound. So we're talking about our controlled vowels, E-R, U-R, and I-R. They all make the er sound. So students um, this week will be focused on reading and writing words with those sounds and deciphering whether it's I-R, U-R, or E-R. Um, so it's kind of a tricky uh, t subject. Um, I would definitely suggest you take a look at some of the home resources that will be linked into um, Todd Times this week for you to use to help your child um, better understand that er sound that can be a little bit tricky. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I hope that you had a fantastic weekend. Um, if you need anything, you know how to get up with me via email or phone. If not, we'll see you right back here next week for another episode of Room 120 News.